and he was you know pointing out that if you have uh, you know artwork for games in MAME, you have to basically have a separate file for each one of those games. And it's really annoying because you're basically just making a copy of the same thing over and over again. And uh, I, I saw that and I said, you know, that's kind of dumb. So, so I just modified the main source code um, to, to basically let it point it, it uh, default files for you know, different screen orientations. So you'll notice here that in my artwork folder, I have uh, default horz.zip and default uh, vert uh, zip. And basically, those are going to be the um, you know the default uh, the default artwork for you know any game. So so check this out. Like um, so basically in this default vert, um, I have the 1943 artwork, and in the default horizontal, I have the Street Fighter II Champion Edition artwork. But but watch this though. Um, I'll just run like Mortal Kombat 2. And see how Mortal Kombat 2 is actually using the Street Fighter 2 artwork. And if I run, you know, um, I don't know. If I run 1944, another uh, horizontal game, see how I have the Street Fighter 2 artwork. They're all using the same artwork now. You only need two files basically for every game. Um, and, you know, similarly, if I do, um, you know, any vertical game, I'll get the 1943 artwork. So here's, you know, or if I do Galaga, see, so it doesn't matter. So basically this is, you know, this kind of solves this uh, whole issue. Uh, I'll, I'll see if uh, Mame Dev will accept this change. I mean, I don't, I don't see, I don't see why they wouldn't accept it. I mean, there's really, I, I mean, the only thing I could see that I might have to improve on this is I probably have to look not only at the um, orientation of the screen, but also probably the aspect ratio, because if you do this setup. Um, you probably wouldn't want to show the artwork if it were a 16-9 game. So if you were to like play Street Fighter 3, uh, you know, second impact in widescreen mode, you probably wouldn't want to use this. I mean, you could always manually change the layout file, but it's not perfect, you know, it's not correct. Uh, but yeah, this does basically work. It's actually a really easy change to, to make. I'm actually kind of surprised that MAME didn't have something like this, you know, just out of the box. I, I don't know why they didn't let you specify defaults you know for the artwork system it's it's kind of bizarre so you can see how like if i you know rename these to something else you know then uh you know that that, that will no longer work anymore i'll uh see I, I don't see the artwork option in here you know same thing for uh you know, Mortal Kombat, for example. So, and, and this actually didn't hurt anything because, like, for example, if I if I were to rename the default horizontal file and just call it, you know, MK2, then the behavior will be the same as, um, you know, default name is C, how it, it, it also detects it based on file name. It basically uses that as a fallback. Or, well, actually, it's really not a fallback. It's really, the, the fallback is actually the default. Um, now that I have this default file, um, if it doesn't find a Mortal Kombat 2, it'll still use it because uh, the, the, the fallback is this, is this file. So, do Final Fight. But yeah, you can see, you know, so it works. Um, I mean, in the, in the interim, I guess I, I can put out a build of this if you just want to, like, you know, fart around with it, you know, for a little while. Because th this build is actually kind of interesting because it has port audio. It has the low latency port audio uh, because it's it's kind of the latest main source code, not the actual uh, you know last release. This is uh, you know close to what zero uh, one eight two is going to end up being.